Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I am going to show you most important graph that is composite graph. So composite graph can be created by merging two or more graphs. So we have already seen many graphs over here. And if you want to merge two or more graph that can be done by using composite graph. And that is one of the most important functionality which is available in load runner. So we can implement that functionality in JMeter by using this standard plugin. For doing that, first we need to go to the thread group and I can add a listener which is composite graph. One important thing that we need to understand whenever you are adding composite graph that must be the first element of your thread group means if you are adding it over here and you try to generate composite graph i'll show you we cannot generate it you can see i'm not getting any other graph options over here means i'm not getting any option which i can use to generate composite graph i'm just stopping it and now best practice is to add it at the start so here if, if you add it in the start i'm running it again and now stop it so here we can see it shows all the options all the options means we are getting the option of all the graph that we can use in this composite graph these options are coming from the other listeners so as of now i have three other listeners it's showing all the options from the other listeners which I can use to generate composite graph. First, I want to use active threads. So I selected active threads taken into the composite graph. As of now, we have only one component which will display in the composite graph. You want to see any other thing like, yes, I want to display server hits per second. So as of now, we have only two components by using two factors I'm generating this composite graph clearing previous results and here I'm running it for three users running it again going to the chart so here we can see these are the hits per second which we are getting and these are the active threads so these are the active threads which are three and every time we are getting different hits per second we can add more components like i want to see the response time as well so i'm going to select response time adding it and now you will notice i'm going to the chart now we are getting a response time as well so that's the response time that we are getting so these are the active threads second is your hits per second and third is your response time so we have merged three graphs and we are getting all the graphs in a single window that is one of the most important feature which we are going to get with the standard plugin that is a composite graph i have created a composite graph of three components and we can add any number of components like you want to add thread groups just adding it and you can check it like it will show thread groups graph as well so it's up to us like how many components we want to display on a single graph check it over here here we are getting four components so that's all we have for this composite graph and that is one of the most important feature which we are going to use while working because we need to compare many things together like many factors we need to compare together i can give you an example like if my active users are increasing what's the response i'm getting from the server how my hits per second are increasing so these factors need to be considered together i'm going to create a composite graph in that case and I'll check it how one factor is impacting other factor 
but in this session we just see how we can generate composite graph. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.